if you are given with one precious opportunity to relive one particular moment of your life what would that be hello everyone welcome to my channel today i am going to paint a country scene onto my sketchbook and while painting i am going to share one of my favorite nostalgia with you as i sit here thinking about my favorite nostalgia i remember my dear grandma we used to call her boti her children her grandchildren everybody used to call her boti uh, when i think about her i am transported back to those cherished winter afternoons when the world seemed to slow down at that time i was at school and after coming back from school i used to visit her in the afternoon I remember sitting with her in the courtyard gently oiling her hair. The sun cast a warm golden hue upon her as she sat on the creaky wooden chair, her aging hands lying on the arms of the chair. Her hair, as white and smooth as freshly fallen snow, flowed like a river of memories. The scent of coconut oil filled the air. My little fingers carefully detangled the strands of her hair, each one as smooth as silk. Buti would close her eyes and begin to weave tales from the past. She spoke of my grandfather, my koka, a man that I didn't have the opportunity to spend much time with, but felt a, a connection through her stories. With every twist and turn of her tales, I learned of her incredible strength. She spoke of how she had raised my father and his siblings in that small hut tucked away amidst what felt like an endless jungle. Those evenings, as the sun dipped below the horizon, leaving us in the soft embrace of dusk, her eyes sparkled. with a mixture of nostalgia and resilience boti talked about the spirits that roam around the village at dusk and how she protected her children from those ghostly sounds when koka was not around it is her from whom i came to know about all those spirits like burha dangoria and many more the stories which are still prevailing in our homia society she once told me a story when bura dangoria showed his presence at the entrance of our house she spoke of this divine figure with utmost respect she described how he wore a complete white attire with a turban i remember how i used to listen to those stories with fear and excitement in my eyes and sometimes i used to run to my father to ask if those stories were real but he never wanted to make me believe in those stories i but i wanted to believe in both his stories and at that age that seemed a thrilling world to me those stories stayed with me and they will always hold a special place in my heart Amidst our conversations in those warm afternoons the pigeons would flutter down drawn by the grains we scattered on the ground their cooing added a melodic backdrop to our lovely evening ritual it was in those moments surrounded by the warmth of bodhi's presence and the simple joys of life that i wish i could turn back time to relive those precious afternoons oiling her hair listening to her tales and to feel her gentle hands in my hair it was a simple yet profound connection that i cherish deeply a bond that time could never erase
Thank you for watching my process and listening to my story. It really means a lot. If you have a favorite nostalgia that you want to share, please don't shy away to comment down. I wish you all a wonderful week. Don't forget to be kind to yourself. Goodbye.